Alright guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. So the last episode was pretty good. We finally met Javier Escuela and Bill Williamson. We dealt with those, which is kind of what we came here to do in the first place. And uh, now we are done here in Mexico, I believe. Our next mission is quite a bit away. If we take a look at the map, we got to travel all the way over here. So, Agent Ross. I don't know who that is. I'm guessing it's going to be something to do with the government. The reason why we got here in the first place. But uh, before we do, obviously, make our way all the way over there, which is going to be great. We do have some unfinished business here with Eva and Poppy Cock. <laughs> so we are going to check these two stranger missions out before heading all the way up there. So hopefully you enjoy this episode. Likes appreciated down below. And, uh, yeah, let's make our way to the next stranger mission. Mexico, it's going to be missed. Alright, so it looks like our stranger mission is in town here. What's the rush there? Come on. Did I just hear gunshots? Easy. All right, yeah, we're gonna have to head inside, so I don't think we're gonna get to them from here. We're gonna have to go back. I should have known that. It's been a minute since we've been here. Can I go through the doors? No. Okay. Well, we're back here again. I believe, yep, the stranger mission is at the back here. Oh, it's in the church. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, sister. Yes, sir. Can I help you? I was looking for a girl by the name of Eva, I think. Wanted to see if she was doing okay. Are you one of her special friends? No, I just helped her. Oh. She said she was coming in here. Oh, she came and she went. A man came for her. Turned out Maybe he was her calling, after all? Okay. Thank you, sister. Hmm. Oh, I think they said they were going to El Sepulcro. But who knows? She wasn't much of one for the truth. Oh, okay. Go to Se Sepulcro? Sepulcro? I'm not saying that. <laughs> to find Eva. I kind of do want to see where that story goes, because I don't know if she scammed us in the last episode by paying that guy off, or if she was actually in trouble. I am intrigued about that one. Uh, before we do go there, hopefully it's not back the other way, and it's along that journey here, because that would be unfortunate. But uh, we do have another one in this area. Oh, okay, so it is along the way. Let's go and see what is going on with Ava first. Oh crap. Oh, okay. That's a train. Yep. Thank you, train. Stop right there. Why don't you? I'm also have my dog with me today, so if you can hear her running around, I do apologize. She usually just sleeps, so. We should be okay. Alright, we made it. Is Ava gonna be here? I guess we'll wait and find out. Oh, this is where we were when we came for the center. Hmm. Oh. What are you doing, amigo? Nothing. Why'd you kill her? 
I didn't kill her. I wouldn't do a thing like that. Sure, I hit her, but Why'd I... you kill her? And why are you digging her up? What business is it of yours, huh? Oh. You still want to lay with her? Huh? You sold her. You let her go. No, no, no. A good whore never leaves, man. Do I get my money back now or after I've killed you? It was just a god dang whore, man. A god dang filthy whore. As you say, she was just a whore. Okay. Now come on. Ah, we're gonna duel. Of course. These always end badly for me. I'll try not to mess this one up. How do I manage to fail those every time? Because someone please let me know what I'm doing wrong, because... I'm clueless, obviously. A few moments later... Well, I didn't mean to do that. Can I borrow this print? Gosh darn it. I traveled all the way back here to do that mission again. Because I failed the first time. And then I've just killed him and failed the bloody mission. Oh you know what? I'm sorry. I don't I don't got time for this. It's now dark. I had to travel all the way back here because I failed the mission the first time. And then I just do that. You know what? Let's go! I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Jesus. Hello, senor. All right. Can I help What's you? up? Are you the foreman, mister? I got a package for you from a Mr. Tollitz. Oh, thank you so much, my friend. What was the delay? Trouble over in Nasalita. Army or rebels? <laughs> Politics, my friend, is for fools. Which is why we see so much of it down here. Land of morons. Hmm. Gets in the way of real work? If you say so. Here's the money from Mr. Dalitz. I'll get this to the workers right away. That's quite a sum. <laughs> Must be valuable stuff. You have no idea, gringo. No idea. If you would have known, you would have kept it all yourself. Hmm. A thousand dollars? What the hell was that? Return the payment to Mr. Tollets in Chiparosa. Oh wow, that's back the other way now, right? Hmm. Well, there's Chiparosa, but it's not coming up. Let's go! I don't quite remember where he was in... Barossa, that's the issue. How do I return it to him? Hmm. I guess we'll make our way back over there and see if he pops up. If not, it's just gonna be a big waste of my time. Which, apparently, I have wasted a lot of time already. I've been recording 20 minutes of uh, just wasting time. Alright, well we're back here on Chiparosa, and the guy hasn't popped up on the map. If I remember correctly, he was on like a mountain or something, like a hill. But uh, I don't know how to return it to him if he's not here. Unless it was in... In here maybe? I don't quite remember. I'm gonna try to see if I can find him. If not, then I guess we just keep the money. What happens if I do that? I don't know. I thought I heard shooting again. I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> I'm a little all over the place as usual. Usually when you're doing stranger missions, you'll have the purple mark pop back up on the map, but he's nowhere to be seen. Oh, wait a minute. Is this him? This might be him. Oh no, that's somebody else. Huh. I don't know then. 
Mr. Tollitz, I've got your money. Ah, uh, here he is. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. I damn well knew you were the kind of chap to be trusted. A fine fellow, sir. Fine fellow indeed. Unlikely to run off and report me to the authorities. What? <laughs> report what, Tollitz? Well, the Dagos here don't appreciate the terrible needs we answer. Uh, building a country's hard, sir. It's hard. Our opium's nasty business, but it's necessary. Necessary. Opium? What do you mean you didn't even sneak a taste of that package? <laughs> Are you mad, sir? That's fine stuff. Straight from Ongo Bongo land somewhere. <laughs> Ongo Bongo. You use me. <laughs> Are you a moralist or just a fool? Both, I guess. We provide a much needed service for the railroad workers. We help ease the pain and loneliness, them being so far away from home and all that. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with this. I've smoked it myself for years. Okay. Give Mr. Tillets the money or keep it for yourself. Ah, uh, I don't know. What the flip did I just witness? You know what? Why are they sliding down the stairs like that? It's not my money. It's not my business what these people do. So here you go. Here. I don't want nothing to do with it. Well, I thank you. Here's hoping we can do business again in the future. Beats dealing with the bloody savages. Okay, I gotta check these stairs out because our business is done here. I don't know what's going on here. Alright. Oh, we did gain some mana, so that was the right thing to do. We're not gonna steal the man's money. It's like I said, it's not our business what he chooses to do with it. But uh, I believe we are done here in Mexico. And we now Come on, horsey. We now need to make our way to the agent, which is very, very far. We don't seem to have anything else but that mission. So I am not traveling all that way. It is going to take so long. So I am going to travel by using the uh, campfire here. Or I'm not. We've got to get out of here, then I can do it. Okay. So uh, to save us a bit of time, well, not me, but to save you guys some time. I'll just catch you over there. Ooh. We are here in Blackwater now. Why isn't this nice? Hmm. This is a nice little town. We've got our agent mission here. See Mr. Ross? 107, 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. 115. 116. 117. <laughs> Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Esquela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thanks, sir. Like hanging you for murder. 
or confiscating all your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please, I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. We believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has, well, shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay? After you, sir. Hmm. I guess we gotta play along, huh? Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. 343. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. A long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. Well, that was a surprise. I didn't expect to see him again. 345. <laughs> All right, Mr. Fordham, onward! Accompany Agent Ross to the Serendipity. Isn't this something? Lawmakers and lawbreakers working together for the good of civilization. Like you always say, sir, the higher the stakes, the smarter you have to play the game. I can't imagine I ever said anything quite so trite in any case. I'm not sure Mr. Marston would agree with us. Unfortunately, Mr. Marston isn't broad-minded enough to appreciate the unique opportunity we're offering him. Son of a whore. You best watch your damn mouth! And it's strange you should say that, Mr. Marston, because according to my files, you are the whore's son. Now, what else can I recall from the files? Oh, let's see. You killed hundreds of innocent people. You've robbed at least 40 banks that we're aware of. They told us there was a prize when you got to 50. I'm glad this is all such a joke to you. I want my family. And I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families, too. Come now. You're stupid. But you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be. And it could be all over today. As soon as we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and play being a farmer again or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Like you will. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life. A chance at redemption. You can't erase your past, Mr. Marston. But we can. Mm. It's so weird seeing a car in this game. She's running well, sir. Such an elegant way to travel. What do you think of this automobile, Mr. Marston? 
Slow, but mail. so <laughs> convenient and reliable. Are you comfortable? No. You see this, Mr. Fordham? The brooding cowboy. There aren't many of these left, you know. A bit of a cliche, admittedly. But still a dying breed, like the buffalo. Just as dumb, but not quite as noble. They move most cows by rail these days, I hear. Not where I'm from, they don't. But you aren't from anywhere. A new dawn is breaking, Mr. Marston. This is the age of the machine. And soon, we'll all be living on the moon. Maybe. This is the future. Anything is possible. Finally, this godforsaken land is entering the 20th century. Prosperity has arrived. In the form of assholes like you. I don't understand you people. The trappings of progress are here for the taking, and you're too stubborn to take them. It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. I guess we've got our hands tied at this. It's his Come family. Come on, Marston. You're with me. All right. Company agent Fordham. Fordham? Fordham. I don't know. I don't really care. I don't like these guys. Like I said, we just gotta play along because it's his wife and Keep son. Quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, and get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out <laughs> of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. Yes, you keep on telling me. Just shut up already. Do you reckon they're gonna be here? Seems real quiet, don't you think? You tell mm -hmm. me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. <laughs> it doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with lowlifes. Looks pretty abandoned to me. Not seeing anyone. Did you hear that? Go see what's happening yes. up there. Yes. I'll wait here. Okay, should I get my gun ready? High power pistol? Hello. Investigate the noise. Well, that sounds like somebody's right, screaming. Alright, I don't know how you want me to get up there. It's a big boat. Oh, flip, of course. Oh, man, come on. I hope I don't fail this. <laughs> Gotta go around. I did not know that. Alright, here we go. Come on. How the hell do I get up this place? Come on. Huh. Over this is here. a bit odd. I found him. Good God, that's her informant. Gnosis, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap. Shit, Marston, you'll have to carry this man. I don't think he can walk. Of course it's a trap. Bastard! We need to clear a path out of here. What the hell's happening? This is kid. This pistol is weird. Also, That's this is gonna be hard because I can't seem to get cover with this guy on my back. I'm sorry, you should be dead. <laughs> you should be dead. Oh, you can like spray it almost. Okay. Let me just grab some bullets. Wow, we are moving so slow with this guy. Come on. Oh, there's a lot of guys waiting down here. Oh man, this is painful. Ooh. What the hell is that? A 
forgot how to get out of here now. Oh, there you are. Can I not get in cover? I can't. This is going to be bad. This is so bad. Wouldn't it be better to use my... Oh, why can I only use the pistol? I guess I don't have two hands. That's why. Makes sense. Oh, come on. Come on. Yep, I got you. Alright, back this way. This agent is a load of crap. You are not helping out, sir. Oh, it's explosive there. Let's just do it. Why not? Goodbye. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Oh wow. Well, this is slow and painful. Can we not move quicker, please? There we go. Go. Pick up the pace, Mr. Morrison. This guy just left me. Yeah, no worries, dude. Who's this? Just what watching me struggle. Is going on? I thought this guy said he was to do with them. I don't know. Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go. There might be more of them. So Dutch wasn't here. Right back to Blackwater. Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? It was a trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh yes he does, sir. He's the informant, Nostis. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. Especially when one of them's an office clerk, or social secretary, or some such. You shut your mouth! You shut your mouth. There's no option to skip the destination. That's probably why. Come on, not now. What's wrong? I don't know. The motor just gave out. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. Uh oh. His men. Marston, we'll of course. Them off. Fix that damn engine. We weren't getting away. Oh my good God! Oh, finally, I can switch weapons. Any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. All right. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. D 
Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You'll make me blush with all these kind words. So much for this automobile of yours. If this is the future, God help us all. It's not the automobile. The bad workman shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse. I was trying to escape an ambush, sir. Even if it was running fine, they'd still have caught us. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. Give me a horse any day. So what now? Do I get to see my family? Where is Dutch Vanderlyn? I don't know. In that case, old boy, no, you don't get to see your family. It's a fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston, even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. If you'd like me to explain it to you again, I'd be more than willing. No, you've said enough. We'll find Vanderlyn soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. So how does it feel? Taking a man's wife and child from him. Does it make you feel good? How does it feel to kill hundreds of men in cold blood? You're a coward. You're a murderer. Actions have consequences, Mr. Marston. Come now. Try to look on the bright side. The bright side? There ain't no bright side. Your family is enjoying a much-needed vacation, and in far more luxurious surroundings than those to which they are accustomed, I assure you. Soon you will be able to start a new life together, absolved of all your sins. I can think of far more upsetting alternatives. You ain't God! In your case, Mr. Marston, it turns out I am. We should take the ending wow. to Professor McDougal, see what he can get out of him. Good idea, sir! I just can't communicate with them. This guy. No piece of work. Here we are. Thank God for that. So, yeah, thank goodness. This is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed, but he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross, uh, Mr. Fordham. Good day. Good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. <sighs> Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal, mm -hmm. uh, we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good fellow. I can see him losing his patience with this guy. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me? I'm standing here. Wow, this is very different, huh? Very different to the areas we've been in. Oh. Okay. Is this the doctor? Might as well check in while we're here. I can't see what that says. Okay, here we go. At home with Dutch. Incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Uh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day. Good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but, but, but with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Oh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. 
So it's a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. It takes one back to a primal state. It helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> Is this guy right? I know we cannot see the stars. But still, my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills, in Cochinay. Let's go. I know a way mm. there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. This guy coming with us. He seems a little, you know. A okay. A criminal and a savage. <laughs> What a strange trinity we make! That's what I'm saying. Follow me! Alright, let's go. Oh crap. So, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderlyn? You gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no! What is it with you people out here? No, Vanderlyn fascinates me. Come on! A white man living among natives. A civilized mind turned savage. It's reverse integration or regressive acculturation that... I don't know. I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. <sighs> well, anyway, get yeah, uh, some kind of Robin Hood, Oedipus, communist tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang together, Professor. I wouldn't try to read too much into it. It's my job to read too much into everything, dear boy. Look, Mr. Boy. Boston, <laughs> Buffalo. Oh, what a noble beast. I see him. The white man will soon be the end of them. What on earth are you talking about, Nastas? Too much hunting, sir. Your whole society is based around hunting. But we hunt to eat, not for sport. Soon, there will be no buffalo left. Who teaches you this nonsense? Extinction is a myth refuted by Darwin. Species don't die, they evolve. Hunting in time will make the buffalo stronger. Okay, this guy's a little strange. <laughs> These trees are quite foreboding, Nastas. Are, are you sure this is the right way? Yes, sir. It's rather dark. It's this way, mister. Ain't you never seen hang trees back. before? I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. Good lord, no. I rarely leave my room. I explore with the mind, Mr. Marston. Enjoy it while you still can. Soon you will have cut down all of these trees. Me? Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white man in general? There is no respect for the land anymore. I'm sensing some hostility, Nastas. Some anger. Talk me through this primal emotion, where it's coming from. Don't worry about it, Professor. Is this snow? This area of the game is really nice. Very different from where we've been. It's nice to get out of the desert. A little bit more greenery. Oh, we got packs of wolves, though. Don't attack my horse. I already lost one. It's the only one I have left. There's the cliff. We'll leave the horses here and find the rest of the way. Um, and the wolves? Alright. Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I, I've got work to do. Thanks for the help. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Let's get moving, mister. My guy. 
Okay, how are we getting up? Oh, he's gonna boost me up. Okay. Not sure how he's gonna get up now, though. Hmm. Okay. I see. Sam, <laughs> you broke it. See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. All right. Find an alternate way up the cliffs. Looks like there might be a pathway over, over here. No, no, never mind, never mind. Oh, this way. I was looking the opposite direction, of course. Getting some enchanted vibes, yeah. There we go. Guess we gotta go all the way around. Here we are. Wow, this looks pretty nice. It's snowing. Uh, here I am. There's a cave over here. You might go through or up the mountain. Hmm. Okay. Is there anything in that? There's a. Oh, is it a train track? What's in here? Yeah, just give me a minute, sir. Oh, eight dollars. A little disappointing. Oh, it's a mine shaft. Yes, look at this. A mine shaft. Hmm. Oh, we got TNT in here. Watch out for that. This isn't my first rodeo in a mine shaft. This way. You don't think this guy would be setting us up, do you? <laughs> Who the hell was that? Just shake it off, no big deal. Oh, it's a trap. You really worked me up. You got a problem with me? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Ow, ow, ow. Wait, where are they? What? Where are they? Annoying He's just standing there as well. I'm sorry. It's just I uh, took a lot of I'm sorry, is it just me? Where are they you shooting me trust from? Me. I promise. Okay, but I'm a little confused as where they are. Well, we've got one. Where's these other two shooting me from? It's gotta be here somewhere. On the right? He's right there, are you kidding me? There we go. All right, sorry about that, sir. I just couldn't see them for whatever reason. I'm hurt pretty bad. I don't think you should go any further. I'll be fine, but you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. Are you sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up or see you on the way down. Mm. Don't worry about guy. me. Go look for Vanderlyn. Good luck. 
Is he gonna be alright? I feel bad. He's been shot twice now. I would go now so. Mister, alright, 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 alright. I'm gonna climb the rest of the cliffs. Um, I'm not sure if this is a safe way to go. You don't want to miss your chance. I'll be fine. So... I think we've got to go around this way. Yep, that was not a safe path. Ah, here we go. It's over here. Make sure we are ready. Could be more enemies up ahead. Oh. And we've got wolves in this area, which is kind of terrifying. What the flip was that? Get a hold of yourself, Mr. Marston. Okay. Gotta be a little bit more careful with where I step, apparently. This guy's a little... That's a bear. Now, now. Are you gonna eat me? Okay. 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 The okay. It's coming. Ooh. What the flip? The wilderness out here is a lot more deadly. That was a whole bear. Okay. So not only do we have to look out for the enemies, but we have... Oh, he killed that. Oh, he killed it. Not only do we have enemies to deal with, but we've got bears and wolves. Right. Oh, mind yourself. <laughs> All right, here we are. Oh, there's another one here. Poor things. What the frick, dude? Is this... Is this normal? Why am I being... Wait, what was that then? Just to pick up something. Oh, that. Okay. Yeah, we've been attacked heavily. Oh, this brought us around this side. Okay. Gotta keep on climbing, I think. I gotta be careful now because sometimes Mr. Morriston here doesn't always listen. Oh, no accidents now. Not when we're climbing up high. If I fall from here, I will die. Ooh. What is he doing? Okay. Getting higher. Getting a little bit more nervous. Come on, please don't do that. You're not gonna attack me, are you? No, nope, you're just gonna fly away. Okay. Alright, here we are. Made it. Neutralize the scout without alerting the fortress to your presence. We still have a throwing knife. Well, what that means. I guess we've got to get a little bit closer. I was worried in case he turned around. There we go. Okay. Get the binoculars. Why are they green? <laughs> okay, so we've got to scout the place. Looking for evidence of Dutch. And what would that be exactly? This place is looking pretty quiet. Um, doesn't seem to be anybody around. Oh. Is that him? I think that might be him. How did he know I was there? 
Did he? He shot me. Mr. Marston? Oh. Mr. Marston! Mr. Marston! How did they find me? Here you go, Mr. Marston. Put that stuff away. You banged your head. Nastas and I carried you down. Mm. Uh, well, mm. uh, Nastas uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters before this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. Well, sure, it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, you are a very stupid <laughs> man. Mister. Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Uh, then again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. A savage soul. So I got shot again, and we got saved I again. I beg your pardon. Yes, I do beg your pardon. Where were we shot exactly? I mean, we're looking right as day here. Yeah. No scratches on me whatsoever. What's going on with you? Alright. Quite like this area. Coming through. We'll see. We'll see. Careful now. Oh, we have another mission with him. Uh, we do have the agent. I guess they're close by. Let's see. Everything is in this little town here. We've got Agent Ross. American lobbyist. Also got those again. Um, you know what? Actually, while we're here. I think we've got time for one more mission. Let's go and see what these are going to say. Yeah. Ah, Marston, sir! It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to say to both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Okay, wow. Someone is a little bit too high Where right the now. Devil is the start? He should be here with the horses. Where is he? Where is he? Okay, calm down now, sir. This guy's quite the character, like wow. Try to calm down, Professor. Calm down. I yes, calm so down. Hello, <laughs> Professor. Mr. He's gone. Hello there. Nastus? Is that how you pronounce his name? Yeah. This is it! Years of research! What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastus has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastus, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Fairclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. 
this guy? I thought Seth was a character, but oh my. He is insane, I'm this one. I'm a little nervous, I have to say. <laughs> a touch of the old jitters. No kids. It's no small relief to have the two of you along with me. Especially you, Nastas. You really have made remarkable progress in the short time I've known you. I'm glad you Nastas. have found it useful. I've always been a little afraid of savages, if I'm honest. But your mastery of basic English and openness to rational discussion. I and don't the band, for the love of God, kill it! Oh, Are you not another one. I had the bloody knife equipped still. <laughs> that guy almost got killed. Go. I'm so sorry, sir. My apologies. My goodness, I'm still shaking. What a ferocious <laughs> animal. That bear showed no signs of aggression. If we hadn't shot first, it most likely would have ignored us and moved mm. on. All very That's well true. for you to say, but perhaps you have some kind of primal bond with these animals. But I, sir. Here we are. Nope. Okay, back claw camp. Here we are. Well, let's get this started. I hope I don't have to smoke a pipe. Okay, so you just calm down now, yes? Everybody just relax. Yep, no need to wave your gun at us, sir. Thank you. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I have... Well, well, I... Well, violence isn't the answer! Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! <laughs> what he says, Marston? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This but is we come in peace. not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! <laughs> Holy shit! Damn Dutch! <laughs> Professor, get down now! Wow. The stars! Oh, I like that guy. He's been really good to us. What? Stay down and keep quiet. Right, you're all in for it now. Do do? Please don't leave me in here. Sir, just relax, okay? Calm yourself down. I'm gonna leave you. I know what I'm doing, all right? I just need oh, you to calm no. down. Right. Oh man, this guy. Yes, I'm so hell, sorry, boy. sir. You've been nothing but good to me. These guys, okay, yep, they don't seem to have a lot. You guys. Yep, all right, adios. Nastus, rest in peace, my friend. I only know you for a little while, but from what I've seen, you're a very good guy. You helped me out. Thank you very much. You saved my life. Oh, now his horse is going to be left too. Oh. Yeah. All right. I guess we're going back to Blackwater with this great, with this crazy guy. We should move quickly. There's plenty more where they came my from. My God, I feel terrible. My head is pounding. Getting shot at will do that to you. I'm completely drained. It's like my body is aged. Oh my god, uh -oh. Do something, oh, Chill! Chill your beans, sir. I got this under control, alright? This is the kind of stuff Mr. Marston does. Oh crap. Come on. Oh, he's going after him? Come on. Okay, sorry, sir. Do? I thought they'd come for me, not him. Wow, this guy just fled. Come on. Oh, that's a really nice horse. Oh, flip. Are you serious? You got a problem with me. Yeah. That's right. Get out of here. This guy is not stopping. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> are you all right there? You look like you've been shot. Well, I can safely say that that was the worst experience of my life. I wish I could say the same. Blackwater. Oh, I will never talk ill of you again. Civilization in all its glory, Mr. McDougal. And am I glad to be back? I'm in dire need of a syringe. Something to clear the mind, restore the spirit. So you ain't planning on sleeping then? Sleep? My dear boy, I'll probably never sleep again. Hmm. Come on, okay. easy up now. Interesting. Very interesting. What's going on here, gentlemen? Oh, yeah? I want a little gossip on the street, are we? Slow it up. Also, where are we going? Okay. Safe Leave your horse sound. in the alley. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. Hmm. Funny guy. Very funny guy. Alright. Good day, sir. Looks like we have a property over here. Hear me, masturbators. Self-love is a most despicable sin. What did he just say? Okay, sir, you know what? Good day to you. Wait, what? Why did that just disappear? Can I not go in here? Unless it's inside. Oh, sorry. Pardon me. Ah, I think we might have to go up this way. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I'm so sorry there, ma'am. My apologies. Oh, this is quite fancy, isn't it? Hmm. Is this... Can I sleep here? I can. Hmm. Alright, guys. So we're going to end it off here. It's been an interesting episode. We've met some new characters once again. Very interesting ones. Um, a little upset that Nastus died like that. He was a good friend. I guess we are now in Blackwater. We are looking for Dutch. And so far we are not... Well, we have found him, but we're not close to getting him. He seems to have a lot of men. So uh, it's going to be interesting. But uh, for now, guys, hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, like is appreciated down below. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. With that being said, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.